Hello everyone, welcome back again. So today we are going to see what are the top tools and resources that are present for research students. So suppose if you are doing any kind of research, so what resources and tools you will be needing during your research tenure. So let's explore the topic and see what are the tools and top reference resources that is there for researchers. So starting with the tools first and if you see the first one that is tool that I have mentioned here that is grammar check tools. So this tool is generally used to check if any kind of grammatical mistake is there, if a spelling mistake is there, if any kind of punctuation error is there in your sentence or if you have not framed the sentence properly. So all these tools they will help you to enhance the language of that paper or research that you are doing. So what are the tools that are present under this Grammarly tools that is Trinka AI and the next is Grammarly. So let's see about Trinka AI and the you can say details about this tool. So this was launched uh, or this is called uh, the world's first grammar and language improvement tool as you can check for the academic and technical writing. Suppose if you are writing your papers that time you will be needing this kind of tool to check if there is any kind of grammatical or spelling mistake in that sentence or in that paper. So that time you will be needing some kind of tool so you can use Trinka AI tool which is known for the academic and technical writing and suppose if you want to write something if you want to write for your paper so you can use this tool and you can enhance the language of your paper. Where it is used to check the grammar, punctuation as well as any kind of spelling mistake is there in that language. And also if you have done any mistake, if suppose if you were writing something and by mistake if you have written the wrong statement, if that statement is in, uh, grammatically incorrect, so this will help you to provide the correction of that statement along with that it will provide you the explanation. So it will be really helpful because it is going to provide you the explanation where you have made some incorrect things. So this is about the first tool that is present and the second is Grammarly. So everyone is aware about this tool which is used to uh, you can say again correct the grammatical as well as spelling mistake in the language. So this is known as the popular browser application. So once you will write Grammarly, so that uh, application will get open in that browser. So it is a popular browser application or you can say extension, which is used to check grammar, punctuation. If any kind of contest mistake is there, sentence is not structured properly. And if the reader is not able to read, suppose if there is any kind of readability problem, so that is used to correct the uh, sentences means it is going to reframe that sentences that is what called as translation and also it is used as a real-time detector so you can use this Grammarly app on you can say MS Word if you are writing your thesis you can use it for WordPress as well as Facebook etc but we used to write things on MS Word Google Drive so that time you can install you can copy paste everything on Grammarly and that time you can use and check ki if there is any kind of mistakes in the matter that you have written. So this is all about the grammar checking tool. So you can use any of these tools. So if you want to select one, so you can go for Grammarly. And what is the advantage of Trinka? So here we have seen it is used to provide the explanation for the correct uh, correcting error. So if any kind of error will be there, it is going to provide an explanation for that. So this is all about the, you can say, grammar checking tool. Coming to the next kind of tool that I've mentioned here, that is plagiarism checker. So if you are writing something, suppose if you have written your manuscript that is for a publication. So to avoid your manuscript to get rejected, you need to check your manuscript means you need to upload all your manuscript in a plagiarism tool. So it will uh, ensure you that you have not copied or pasted any kind of text from the previous papers that has been uploaded or published. So this is uh, going to you can say ensure you about all these things where it will ensure you and also it will uh, avoid the chances of uh, rejecting your manuscript. So again here there is two tool you can use. The first is Inago's plagiarism checker and if you want to see about this uh, tool you can see it is a quick comprehensive and dependable plagiarism checker. So it is freely available you can use it and also the advantage of this plagiarism checker is that 
it is a ai based grammar check feature so if any kind of mistake which will be there so it is going to detect that mistake and it will going to correct that particular mistake or if any kind of uh, copy paste mechanism is there if you have copy paste anything so that copy pasted thing will be translated and you can use that sentence means that reframe sentence for your manuscript and also it can use to detect the grammatical errors that is if you are writing something that is what called as academic writing so that time if any kind of grammatical mistakes is there errors is there so it is used to correct that too so this is about the inagos plagiarism checker and the next is dupli checker so if you want to use the free version of this duplicate checker tool that is there so you here you can use the free version and here there is a limitation that you can check only thousand words free version is provided that is a trial version itself so here you can only check thousand words means up to thousand words there is a limit but if you want to check for more than thousand words as you are writing your thesis paper so that time you need to uh, buy this and you need to pay for this dupli checker so paid version you will have more than 1000 words so a limit will be there will be no limit as you can use more than 1000 words so that will be good but here you need to pay for dupli checker so better to go for plagiarism checker and you will if you will search you will find many different types of plagiarism checker too so you can use and avail that online tool that is there for free so you can avail that tools and you can check if any kind of uh, you can you can say if you have copied any uh, sentences or things from the papers so you can avoid that the third is you can see here that is social networking for academics also if you are into research or in the science career if you are in the science career or if you are pursuing your research so it is very important to get connected to higher officials be it scientists professors so how you can connect that that is what called as social networking that is there for the field of academics so here there is uh, you can say two way you can connect to the collaborator you can collaborate you can connect to higher uh, officials and you can maintain good terms and relationship with them so how it can be done it is through academia edu and the second is research gate so everyone is aware about both these sites so academia.edu free accessible platform for sharing research documents so suppose if you want to share research document if you want to exchange your ideas and work to the scientific community so this is one of the way you can share where many of the researcher they share their documents and it is a freely accessible platform for sharing research document where you will find research document available on different subjects of science also they it will provide you a way to connect with academics that is across the globe so this is a good chance for you so you can connect through academia and the second is research gate so if you see about research gate there are millions of people that is connected from over you can say 190 plus countries so that is a good platform you can connect to the scientists and if you want to see that is a freely available networking platform where you can connect to scientists where you can connect to researchers where you can connect to all other you can say uh friends and researcher in the field of science or in your subject or you can say in the field of your interest suppose if you are doing any kind of research specifically in biochemistry and if you want to get connected to all of them so you can get connected through research gate where you can ask any question they will provide you a solution means there will be a interactive conversation with the researcher means it will allows you to interact with the researcher so again this is a good platform so you can connect through research gate the fourth tool that I've mentioned that is research management tool. Now, what do you understand by research management tool? Research management tool means it is used to manage your literature during your research development. So whenever you are doing your research, so that time you have to manage your literature. So what tools are present under this research management tools? Let's explore it. So the first is Zotero. So everyone is aware of this. That is a free, easy to use tool that is help you to collect and organize a site and share research. So if you want to cite anything in your paper, so you can use this Zotero. So also it is used for managing your bibliography. So usually we write bibliography at the last. So it is used to manage your bibliographic data, means bibliography. And also if any kind of research material is there, so you can manage that with the help of Zotero. Means ultimately it is going to manage your research or literature during your research tenure. So this is all about Zotero. Coming to the next tool that is EndNote. Again, this is you can say uh, very well known to all of the researcher means it is a paid reference management application. You have to pay it and some free tired version if it is available that will be limited. Otherwise you have to pay for it and that allows the researcher to 
insert citations into the set text suppose if you are writing any introduction review of literature suppose for uh, msc dissertation so that time you need to insert citation suppose if you are writing it for paper publication so that time you need to insert that citation from where you have taken that particular text so you need to insert all that citation so with the help of endnote you can insert that and everyone is aware about the ref works also mandalay also so mandalay most of the people they use mandalay that is very easy to handle and and easy to access so ref work also it is a web based commercial reference management again it is you can say reference management tool that is a software package you will get and here you can take individual license and if you don't want to take suppose if you are working in any of the institute so that institute will install and they will uh, you can say install all this ref work software and login will be provided to you and you can use it for free and if you want to take your individual license so you can take individual license for refworks again which is a kind of reference management tool yes now the last is mandalay so that is very easy and you can say most of the time it is used by the researchers means most frequently used in research management tool again it is used to manage the bibliographic uh, references suppose if you want to add the references so you can just open mandalay you can write the name of the author you can search the paper from where you have taken and once that paper is has come you can again open your ms word you can write the site resources so from there you can click and you will see your reference or from where you have taken your matter that will be cited there in your to your text so that is a good uh, you can say research management tool that is freely available also you can download you can install in your desktop as well that is a freely available re reference management tool that is used to store organize and search all of your reference suppose if you have inserted 50 reference for your you can say research work let's say so suppose if you are searching author means author you are searching that only you will cite so means all authors that you will search that will be maintained in a mandalay library right means from there you can just now you can go to ms word and there you can just cite resources all 50 resources whatever you wanted to cite that will come adjacent to your text so that is really easy to organize and search all of your reference so all of your references will be maintained in the mandalay library means we have discussed that is used to generate or insert any kind of citations from where you have copied or you have taken the help for for your research so this is all about the research management tool so this is all about tools where we have discussed what are the tools that is available to check the grammar if there is any kind of grammatical mistake what are the tools that is checked to uh, avoid or you can say to uh, get ensure so that uh, there is no chances of getting your manuscript rejected that is through plagiarism checker the third is getting connected through scientists and research across the globe that is through social networking and the fourth is research management tool that is actually used to manage your uh, literature of review your literature overall and ultimately it is used to cite the references insert that all references and maintain your bibliographic reference so this is all about the tools for researcher that we have discussed now what are the top reference resources that you can use suppose if you want to search anything so from where you can search suppose if you want to search for that suppose if you are working on immunology and uh, if you are working on b cell so suppose if you want to search related to b cell so you can use all the software that is reference resources for help so the first is google is scholar now everyone knows once you type google me google is scholar you will get that page and from there you can search any of the publication you wanted or any matter that you are looking in so again it is a freely accessible why search engine because i told you have to type google is scholar and that will come in google and from there you can open so this is just you can say freely available web search engine that is a most peer reviewed online academic journals and books because here you will get all different review papers research papers book chapters that is being published in the field of science related to that particular subject that you are looking in so again that will be a great help for you means you can search for any of the conference paper abstract technical reports if you are looking into or any other scholarly literature that includes review research paper everything so if you are looking for all these things so you can just type google scholar and then you can search so this is one of the you can way uh, say way to search your reference to search your uh, matter for your research the second is springer and if you see about springer that has near about 2 2900 journals and 29 
uh, you can say two like ninety thousand books. So you can see this many books are present. So obviously you will get a help from this sprinter, and that all the lead, uh, you can say text and matter that is provided that is there in the field of science, humanities, technical, and medical. So if you are searching for any of the literature related to this field, so you will get. Uh, all the matters easily as you can see journals are more than 2900 and books are uh, 2 like 90000 so again that will be a great help for you so okay, you can use all these reference resources through this springer as well the third is you can see over here that is medline now what does medline stands for medline stands for medical literature analysis and retrieval system online again if you want to include any of the bibliographic information search for it so you can use this medline means it is used to provide the literature in the field of biology and biochemistry or if you are searching in the field of molecular evolution specifically so it has variety of literatures so that is going to provide you a help with Biology, biology includes most of the subject, biochemistry specifically, as well as molecular evolution. But now if you are looking for some other tools or some other reference resources, so I have listed fourth one also, that is Scopus. Now what is the advantage of using Scopus? This is the world largest abstract and citation database of peer review research or literature. So if you are searching for a peer reviewed journal, peer reviewed, uh, you can say, uh, research publication or review publication so there you will get abstract you will get references for that that has 5000 international publishers so you can imagine that has many international publisher means you will get a good quality of data good quality of references for your research and here you can search any author you are looking in suppose if you are looking for uh, any of the institute that is there in USA and particular scientists so you can look for and you can search their database you can look for any kind of publication that has come from that lab and accordingly you can use that for your research. So this is all about the top resources and tools for research students. So I'm sure this topic was really and highly beneficial for all those students who are currently in the field of research. So they might be knowing all these things and those who are about to enter the research field. So you can just uh, get insights uh, into the insights of all these things that is top reference resources as well as tools for researcher where I have discussed grammar checker tools, plagiarism checker, social networking as well as research management tool because ultimately it is going to help you in your research time. So that's all about the topics. Thank you everyone for your time and patience. Meet you in the next video. Till then bye bye. Take care. Keep learning.